Welcome back to the Garage Internet. So today we're going to cover a couple of different things. One of which is going to be the setup slash wiring diagram of the bump box. Um, we're going to get that ironed out and working. And uh, I'm not sure about the rest of you. We're going to kind of play it by ear and see how things go. But as far as the bump box or the turbo staging is concerned, it was uh, the instructions with the uh, MS3 Pro Ultimate and the Mega Squirt in general are just kind of not real clear because it's so configurable. You can do so many things with it. Um, so I'm going to draw a diagram, and I'll show you that here in a minute, um, on how you wire this stuff up, what kind of relay you can use, and uh, just in general. So, let's go. Okay, so here's the diagram that I mentioned earlier. Now, I'm going to run through this real quick, so if you need to see or use or keep this diagram, just pause the video right about now, and then, uh, yeah, I'll explain. So. I'll throw in a clip of my old car and without the bump box so you can see how this staging works if you if it doesn't sound right but when you pull up to the lights you stop just before the lights and pump the brakes real good and you map the gas and what that does is it enables this relay and it activates the low limit RPM which is your burnout limit on in your tuner studio on my car this relay grounds digital input five, digital switched input five. Now it gets its ground, it's not grounded straight to the frame, it's grounded through this other relay because it's off right now and 87A or the middle post, I think is 87A, is uh, currently grounded. So now that I'm, I've inched into the first beam with the brake pedal and the car's banging on the limiter, now I've go, I go all the way into the second bulb, I hit the trans brake and it turns this relay on, and which in turn turns this post off and disables this relay. So now digital switch to input three comes online, which on my car is the launch RPM limit. Okay, now the cool part is that you can do, you can stage the car this way, or you can pull up to the line into the first bulb Hit the trans brake, map the gas when it hits the limiter, which in this case is going to be the high side because your foot is not on the brake pedal and the trans brake is active. Now you're going to hit the bump button, which is right here. It's grounded through digital switched input four when you hit the button. That in turn cycles this relay and lets the car bump in, which I will show you how it works on this car also. Now. That's going to be the second clip. The first clip is a car staging without the bump. Um, now in the driveway, this bump looks a little, or this turbo staging looks a little um, violent, if you will. I am not resting my foot on the brake, so it jumps pretty good and it actually barks the tires a little bit. Um, when it's on the track, that calms way down and it's uh, totally manageable. Not to mention I hadn't messed with the settings yet. but. Speaking of settings, let's look at the laptop. I'll show you how these wires are configured and we'll go from there. All right, my apologies guys, because I do not have a screen capture. But the way you get to this menu, if you haven't figured it out already, go to advanced engine, launch two step, three step trans brake, click on that. So now, as you see in the drawing or the diagram that I showed you just a second ago, launch input, digital switched in three. Trans brake button input, same as launch, because that is going to be the one that tells us to actually engage the trans brake. Trans brake output, high current output one. High current out one is the one that actually cycles the solid state relay. Um, last but not least, uh, your RPM launch, uh, what I, when I say high side and low side, this is your launch RPM limit. Again, comes in with digital switched input three on my car. The turbo stage button, or I'm sorry, the uh, the low RPM limit, or in this case, is three step or burnout limit, is digital input five. Okay, so every car is a little different. Every setup is a little different. So these three wires are likely to be different on your car as well if you are using this for instructional purposes. Okay, so Brian just got here, 
and we're going to test out the wiring that I just showed you earlier, the diagram and whatnot. So you're probably going to see a small amount of tuning. Uh, I'm trying to get the car to idle better now that I've changed some stuff around. Uh, I guess it depends on how much I edit out of the video. But anyways, um, let's back the car out, check it out, see how it works. Alright, so hopefully that super quick explanation made some sense. Um, if you have any questions or anything, be sure and post them down below. But again, every car is a little different. Your wiring is especially very likely to be different. Um, I'm just showing you how you can still use a low RPM limit and a high RPM limit to stage the car if that's something you like as opposed to a turbo stage or a bump. But you can also use the bump if you want. Now. One thing to remember, if you do not uh, like to do a rolling style burnout, you will have to put a break in the low RPM limit wire or a switch so that when you do your burnout, the limit is not active. Because the way mine is set up, the um, line lock solenoid comes on and it holds pressure on the brake switch, which in turn keeps the brake switch active and this low RPM limit relay active also. So um, my routine is I pull up to do the burnout, that switch is off, I do my burnout with the line lock engaged. As soon as I finish, as, a, as I'm backing up or when I stop, I turn that switch on so that relay becomes effective. Um, it's just part of my routine and everybody's is liable to be a little bit different and there's ways to modify this diagram where you don't have to do that. So. Depends on what you want to do. Now, let's look at those clips. First clip, old car, staging with low RPM and high RPM limit. Second clip is just this car testing the turbo staging or the bump in the driveway. Okay guys, as you can see, uh, those two clips are drastically different methods of staging the car. The blue car with the flames on it, um, I'll let that video play all the way through because, well, it's my favorite one that I have. So if you watch that particular clip closely, you can see um, I stage it pretty quick because there's nobody in the other lane and you can barely hear the RPM change, but it jumps from... Uh, I think it's set at 4,500 and 5,100 RPMs on the transbrake button. Now the clip of this car uh, was even quicker because it's in the driveway. And it is 3,500 and 4,000. This particular turbo lights off a lot quicker and we don't have to deal with uh, high RPM launches and whatnot. So um, yeah, everything works now. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but it lean popped a couple times in that very first clip and 
that uh, was remedied before I filmed it the second time. I had changed so many different things in the fueling parameters uh, to make everything as close to perfect as possible and now it's finally starting to pay off. And the second part of that is if you hook that solid state relay up incorrectly, it will fry it. Um, I found out the hard way. So be sure to check your wiring and make sure you have it correct. And yeah, that. Anyways, thanks a million for watching the video, guys. That is the end. Um, got a lot of stuff figured out on the car. It is just about ready to put the final touches on it and go to the track. So, um, yeah. If you made it this far through the video, congratulations. You are bored out of your mind. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. We will see you in the next video.